Hello. Hello. Hi guys. Hello. Good hi, evening. Teacher. How are you? <clears throat> Hello, teacher. Hi, hi. How's everybody today? Good. Good. Nice to hear. All right. Just give me one second, please. Just give me one second. Okay. All right, so yesterday I assigned some homework for you and some of you send it and some of you didn't. <laughs> All right, so uh, is Elmer here already? Elmer, are you here? No? Elmer is not in class yet. All right, do you guys have the questions that I assign as homework? Let me see if I find them. All right, let's see. Um, eh, Anna, Edith, what is good exercise for you? Uh, for me, eh, swimming is a good exercise. Ah, oh, very nice. Okay, very good. Um, Ellie, what's a good exercise for you? Eh, también puse swimming. Swimming, swimming. I know. <laughs> I, I have your answers right now. Okay, that's okay. Very good. Um, Elizabeth del Carmen, what activity is a lot of fun at a party? Uh, when I stay in the party. Uh -huh. When you go to a party, what's, what activity is a lot of fun for you? I believe that when I go to the beach. No, to a party, not to the beach. Um, into the party. Uh-huh. Is it dancing, uh, maybe, talking, maybe drinking? Listen, listen to the music. Listening to music? Okay, very good, nice, okay. Uh, Jose Rodriguez, what activity yes. is not, hold on. What activity is necessary for life? Uh, I put working is necessary uh -huh. for life. Yes, all right. Someone said breathing is necessary for life. Teacher, right. eating yes. too. Eating too, of course, Eating yes, <laughs> of course, very, very important. Walter, what do you enjoy doing on Sundays? Enjoying. Uh, what do you enjoy doing on Sundays? Okay, go, <clears throat> going out with, with my family. Oh, going out with your family, very nice. Yes. Eli Larin, what activity do you enjoy doing on Sunday? Ya leí su respuesta. I enjoy hugging. I enjoy <laughs> hugging my boyfriend. Ajá, uh -huh. you enjoy hugging your boyfriend. Ajá, uh -huh. very good, all right. <laughs> all right, that's okay, that's very nice. Hi, Selena. All right, very good. All right, let's see. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Hi, teacher. How are you? Because maybe I had Fine. And you? I'm fine. But I we we missed you in class. What happened? Yes. Um, I don't. I have a uh, many work until uh, ten o'clock. Okay. I'm All sorry. Right. Okay. No, that's okay. That's okay. We just missed you. Very good. Welcome to class okay, again. Thanks. Very good. All right, Ramos, um, what do you enjoy doing on Sunday? Ramos, are you there? No, I guess not. All right. Um, let me see who else. Um, 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 I had someone else yesterday here. Um, Walter, again, what activity might you try doing this year? What activity might you try doing? Uh, <clears throat> uh, like, a, like a camping. Camping? Okay. Camping, yeah. all right. Okay. Someone said speaking English. It. All right. So, yeah, you're doing it. You're speaking English. Teacher. Okay. Yes. Teacher, uh, is correct. I enjoy going to the church. Yes, yes, of course. Uh, so okay. you're you're using um, you're using it as an object. 
Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. And, and uh, I enjoy I enjoy going uh -huh. to the church. That's right. And out with my family. That's right. So the question, Anna, the question would be, what do you enjoy doing? Going to church. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. okay. So it is a gerund, but as an object, which is good. That's okay. okay. It's okay. It's perfect. Remember that for these questions, guys, you could uh, you could have answered using a gerund as a subject or using gerunds as objects, but that's okay. Gerund is a gerund, okay? Very good, Anna. Yes, thank you. All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, Gerardo. Good evening. All right. So, guys, what I'm going to do, this is... Um, Hi, I good want, night. Good evening. I want you to take a picture of this. I'm going to share this with you. And with this activity, we're going to close the topic of gerunds as objects and gerunds as subjects, okay? For the ones that did not have, uh, did not as yesterday, all right, uh, we, I already upload the video so you can check it and you can watch it. And if you still have questions, you can ask me, okay? So right now, just give me here a couple of seconds. I just need to... There you go, and I have this one, right. Okay, so here we have, I have two activities for you. So for the ones that were not in class yesterday, you're gonna learn it right now. So this is the activity I want you to work on. So we're gonna do, this is what we're going to do. We're going to work on these two activities to finish up to finish up uh, the gerund topic. And after that, I'm going, to, I'm going to go on teaching the new topic, which is comparison with adjectives and comparisons with nouns. So in other words, guys, we are right on, just give me a second here, on 2.6, okay, of the, of the section. Okay, can you please take a picture? Okay. Take a picture right now. And do seven, and then you're gonna you're gonna take another picture. Finished. Okay, and then the other the other um the rest of the sentences. Okay. We need to complete. Yes, you're gonna you're gonna complete it's it. Verb, yeah. but we need to. Remember, it's not a verb, all right? It's a gerund. We need to use ing. I-N-G. I-N-G. Right, oh, okay. yes, okay. As gerunds. Right now you're working as gerunds. I mean, gerunds are subjects, sorry, okay? Now, this is one. Guys, no sé quién tiene como mucha bulla ahí por su casa. Please put the mic off. I believe that my neighbor teacher. All right, so Do maybe, listen? yes, I so maybe, may, maybe, Elisa, yes. turn off your microphone in okay. case you need to say something, you can turn it back on. Thank you. All right, and then the other one, okay. guys, is this one. Can you take a picture of this one? Jerona's objects to number seven. Teacher, can, can, can you send us uh, yeah, your chat? I, Yes, I can send it to you, but take, I mean, if you can take a picture, it's okay. I'm gonna send it right away. And then this is the, these are the other sentences. Yes? Okay? Okay. Okay, so what I want you to do is I w I'm gonna send you to your groups and I want you to work on the two worksheets. One, the first one is only gerunds as subject and worksheet number two is gerunds as objects, okay? Then I'm gonna give you some time, you finish, we're gonna check it together, and then we start the new topic, all right? Okay, so I'm gonna stop sharing right now. I'm gonna make the groups so you can go and work on your groups. All right, there you go. Please click on the invitation to go to your groups right now.
Hi, Carlos. Hi, Rocio. Hi, Rocio. Hi, Carlos. Teacher. No se pudo meter, Carlos, al grupo. Lo que pasa es el con donde me metí tampoco pudo hacer la captura y como iba entrando. Ah, vaya. Entonces, no igual, sé. si gusta, no sé si puede regresar. Ahorita lo voy a mandar al grupo, al chat okay. del grupo. Uh -huh. Ok. All right, Rocio, y la acabo de mandar a un grupo a usted. Can you go? And I'm going to send the, uh, the worksheet. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Okay, okay. It's fun. I love making dinner to my friends. I think cooking. 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 Cooking number five. And yes. Number... 
Bueno. Lo siento por vos. Hi, guys. Bye, Jeff. Hi, Hi teacher. You, did, were you able to take a picture, Elizabeth and Gerardo? Uh, right now, I have a picture. Yes, he okay. has a picture. He has a picture, okay. Oh, have. there you go. Okay. Oh, but don't look at the answers. <laughs> Only uh, the first mm -hmm. one. All right. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Y el celular lo tengo descargado. No puedo tomar. All right. Dice, compártelo en el, en el WhatsApp de grupo. Por... Ya lo subí. Now, ya lo subió. Right now, ya lo subí sí. por mi teléfono. Right. Bueno. Uh -huh. And my cell phone is dying. And the, <laughs> and the second, um, eating. Eating a parking. Uh -huh. uh, the second, find, finding, finding a parking space. Finding uh -huh. a parking space in the tree. I think. Uh, I don't want to see the, the answer by... Ah, no, don't same. check the answers. Cool. Huh? And the third, I think... Uh, don't check the answers. You have to try to do it yourself. Okay, teacher. <laughs> well, great. Well. Hi, Carlos. Hi, teacher. Do you have the picture now? I send the files. Sí, lo estoy viendo en el, en el, en el chat, ¿verdad? Sí, solo que no vea las respuestas. <risa> Ay, Dios, pues sí, eso me iba. <risa> no, that's cheating. <risa> I'm sorry, I can no see the, the PDF. I don't know. Ah, ok, okay. let me see. Uh, you know what, I'm going to share it with you right now. Just give me a second. I don't know where I put it. Ok, just give me a second. Hold on. All right, Daniel, what happened yesterday? You were not in class, right? Yes, I'm sorry. I That's okay. Couldn't know. Okay, this one is the, um, this is the second one, Daniel. Okay. Uh, this is Jerona's objects, okay. So uh, you can take, hold on, you can take, that's complete from number one to number 15. Um, Finished? Can, can I see the, the instruction? Yes, please. Yes, of course. There you go. That one? Mm -hmm. All right, that's the first two. I mean, that's the second one. And I'm going to, are you ready for the other one? Daniel? I'm sorry? I'm going to show you the other one right now because we had two. Ah, okay, okay, okay. This is the other one. It's gerunds as subjects now. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. So the same, the, those are the instructions or the, ex, the ex, actually it's an uh, explanation kind of thing. And then I'm going to show you the rest of it. Can I move? Yes, yes. Okay. Sorry, there you go. Teacher, I, I have yeah. a little question. Mm -hmm. uh, in in the video in the platform, yeah. I I saw uh, an example. Mm -hmm. uh, I enjoy working for people. Yes, but uh, I can. Uh, I can say say uh, I enjoy to work for people. I don't know what is correct. No, I enjoy working. If you say what? I enjoy to work, that's an infinitive. And right now we're working with gerunds. Is it not correct? No. Nope. Yeah. Okay. That's a very common mistake that people make. 
we need to know, Daniel, I mean, there, there are actually lists of verbs that you can use as gerunds or that you can use as infinitive, infinitive form and in gerund form. And sometimes there are some verbs that can be used as both, but not okay. all of them. All right. So usually you say, I like listening. You don't say, I like to listening to music. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Yesterday, Daniel, are you in the WhatsApp group, Daniel? Yes. I, okay, because I yesterday I sent the presentation I used yesterday on class. So maybe you have, you can, um, I don't know if you saw it. Yes, but I didn't get it. <laughs> okay, so what it is, Daniel, is that sometimes we have gerunds, okay? that look like verbs, but they are not acting as a verb. They are acting as a noun, as a name, all right? Mm -hmm. They, the, I mean, they are used in ing form and people confuse them with the present continuous, but it's not present continuous. Mm -hmm. Something is very different when I tell you I am teaching right now, that I tell you teaching is fun. It's very different. Mm -hmm. The first yes. one is this an action that I'm, I'm performing at this moment. And that, uh, the other one, when I say teaching is fun, is a name, like enseñar es divertido, right? So that's a gerund. Okay. Now, within the gerunds, Daniel, we can use it in two ways. As a subject that usually is going to go at the beginning of the sentence, okay? Mm -hmm. And it answers the question, what? What is fun? Teaching. What is good for you? Swimming. Uh, what do you, I mean, what, um, uh, what um, is, I don't know, what is he doing, climbing, all right, so those things, usually they begin the sentence. Now, you can use a gerund as object, the difference is that it always, the gerund comes after the main verb, for example, I say, I like smoking, it's not true. I like smoking, okay? Mm -hmm. So like is my main verb and a smoking is not a verb, it's a noun, it's a name of an activity that I don't like or in this case, according to my example, it's, a, it's an activity that I like doing, I like smoking. So what do you like? I like smoking, mm -hmm. all right? So that's the difference between, I mean, the first difference, Daniel, is that you need to understand when is a gerund and when is a verb in present progressive? Okay, mm -hmm. very different. The other thing that you need to know is, okay, fine, this is my gerund. Am I using it as a subject or am I using it as an object? All right, so the idea is for you, I mean, that is the position of the gerund. If it's at the beginning of the sentence, most likely it's going to be um, as a subject. If it's after, it's going to be as an object. Okay. okay, but in both cases, they are being used with ing, smoking, uh, talking, cycling, swimming, all right? So right now, for example, the one that we have on the screen, everything, the gerund is used as a subject because it begins a sentence, all right? Eating lots of vegetables is important for your health. What is important for your health? Eating lots of vegetables, Eating. yes. A park... Um, Let's see, finding a parking space is difficult in the mornings. What is difficult in the mornings? Finding a parking space. All right, so that's what it is pretty much, Daniel. I don't know if you have any question. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. So that's what we studied yesterday. And the idea here is just to practice the gerund yeah. as subject and gerund as object, okay? Okay. But Carlos was in class yesterday, so he, he understands. <laughs> right, Carlos? <laughs> Very good. Okay, I'm going to go to another group right now, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Finding, finding. Hi, Hi, Gerardo. Hi, Elizabeth. How are you doing? Hi. Are you finished? Yes, I, hey. I finished the exercise. So, so. <laughs> All right, both the gerund as subject and gerund as object. Yeah. Oh. Wow, very nice, okay. Okay, so let me just go to another group and then we're gonna go back to the main group, okay? Okay, thank you. Followed by gerund, but not infinitives. 
Hello. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Ellie. Hi, Maxi. Hi, Selena. Oh. What's your question? Um, in the case, um, for example, in the number 11, mm -hmm. uh, my brother likes seafood. Do he likes? I can use fish or fishing. Fishing. Because you need the name of an activity. It doesn't um, make sense. My question, is, uh -huh. my question is because the instruction, mm -hmm. and the second instruction, okay. some verbs can be followed by and, you know, or an infinitive, uh -huh. but not, not all like, of them. Like, like, yes. Yeah, but right now we're we're working on on um, g only gerunds, okay? So the idea is for you to do it just in gerund way. Uh, I can only use <laughs> new form. I can yes. use new form, but yes. in the in the in the this case is only gerund. Right, gerund. that's right. Some of them, Ellie and Rocío and Selena, some verbs they might be used as gerunds or they might be used as infinitives okay and some others they are only used as gerunds never as infinitives and other verbs are only used as infinitives never in gerunds there are lists of verbs that you can use either or all right or both but that's your class right now it's like only focus your attention on gerunds yeah right? okay mm -hmm. okay, okay. So on number okay. 11, let me see if I have number 11 by here. Uh, it says, oh no, I don't have it. Let me see. My brother. My brother likes seafood. So he likes fishing. Or mm -hmm. you can say my brother likes seafood. So he likes to fish. Both of Three. them are correct. Mm -hmm. But because right now we have been concentrating on only gerunds, it's nicer or it's better if you say he likes fishing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But it's good for you to know. In That's why I, I gave you this exercise because in future topics, we will talk about both infinitives and gerunds. Okay. Okay. In the case of verb cycle is gerund is cycling. 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 Yes. Cycling. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Do you have any oh, questions, you. Selena and Rocio, besides the other one that Ellie was asking me? Or are you mm -hmm. feel okay? Okay. I'm okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I have the, the gerund as uh, subject ski? or ski, 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 skin, a skin, yes, a skin. Two, two, two eyes. Yes. Two, two, two eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two okay. eyes. Two eyes. Yes. A skiing. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Otherwise, it would be skying. <laughs> if you have a Y, uh -huh, skiing, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good girls. Thank you. Thank you. Too. Thank you. So you're almost finishing, right? Yes. We, yes. Okay. Finish. All right. Okay. You ready? Finish. Yeah, you're ready. Are oh, you ready? Finish. Just go. Okay. Let me go check one more group, and we're coming back. Okay. Yes. Right. Breathing. Hi, Jose. Really? Hi, Anna. How are you doing? Hi, Hi, teacher. What number are you working on right now? And number six, the exercise two. Okay. Thomas and Joyce. Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Very good. All right. So we're almost going back to the to the group, but just finish it up, okay? Don't worry about it. Okay. okay. Yeah. All right.
All right, hi guys, everybody back with me. Hello, hello. Hi. All right, very good. So let's see this. Right now, remember that we're only using gerunds, okay? So let's try to see this. Let's see how we did. Um, let me see, we have this one. Okay, this is the first one. This is the second one. Can you see this one? Gerunds use a subject, yes. can you see it? Yes, I can. All right, very good, okay. So here we go. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we have, I hope you didn't see the answers. Because <laughs> that was cheating, all right? <laughs> okay, number one, it says eating lots of vegetables is important for your health, okay? What about number two, Rocio Cepeda, what is um, for number two? Just read the whole thing. Number two? Uh-huh. In this case. Yep. It would be great if you can add. Parking. Sorry, sorry. Oi, oi. What was uh, the verb? Mm -hmm. Oi. So, you, you don't have it, Rocio? No, I, I don't have it. But okay. in, after eating is a parking space. Uh -huh. Fine. So it would Fine. be fi yeah, finding. Finding, finding. finding a yes. parking space is difficult in the morning. Yes, very good. Mm -hmm. Nice. Elizabeth, thank you, Rocio. Elizabeth del Carmen, can you do number three? Okay. Cooking to work is a great way to get some exercise. Cooking. Cooking. I like say. eating? Hmm. No. Does that make sense? Cooking? Cooking? Cooking to work? Cooking to work is a great way to get some exercise. No, it's not correct. What would it be? Daniel Del Cid, what do you have? Um, cycling. 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 Uh -huh. Cycling to work is a great way to uh, get some exercise. All right. Because the other one, cooking, okay. Elizabeth, doesn't make any sense. All right, very good. Anna Edith, can you do number five? I oh, know, sorry, number four. Okay. Number four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Reading books. Reading books, books uh -huh. magazines. Yes. And help you to learn English. Excellent, of course. And that's what you guys do. Very good. Thank you. Okay. Number five. Um, let me see who else I have here. Um, Selena, can you do number five, please? Okay. Cooking, mm -hmm. cooking is fun. I Excellent. love making dinner for my friends. Very nice, thank you. Number six, Walter. Walter, Walter, your microphone is off, Walter. Swing. Swing. Waltercito, your mic is off. Hello, hello. Uh-huh, Walter, so number, uh, number six, can you? Swimming. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Swim, swimming is, uh, is a great way to get fit, mm -hmm. but I am tr uh, afraid of the water. Excellent, very good. Jose Rodriguez, number seven. Number seven is sleeping is an activity the all animals do. Yeah. However, did you know that cats live for two thirds of their li lives? Okay, lives. Very good. Lives. All right, very good. Number eight, Carlos Emilio. Mm. Carlos, Carlos. Carlos Emilio. Smoking. Uh, smoking. Ah. <laughs> smoking cigarettes. It's very bad for your health. Very good, nice. Thank you. Gerardo, smoking. can you do number nine? Yes, it's smoking. Very mm -hmm. good. Yes, number nine. Watching TV is bad for my eyes. Eyes. That's my eyes. That's, that's what my mother says. That's what my mother says. Very good. All right. 
You have to listen to your mother. All right, Ramos, can you do number 10? Yes. Uh, well, learn about Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Learning about yes. other people and culture is fascinating. Excellent. Learn, excellent, yes. Learning about other people and culture is fascinating. Excellent, thank you. Mary Viera, can you do number um, 11? Uh, 11. 11. 11. Singing is my sister's favorite hobby. She's a great, she has a great voice. Excellent. Very nice. Number 12, Rocio. Can you, can you do that one again? Rocio, Rocio? Yes. No, Rosy? Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, we have to use two words in this Yeah, case. yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Somebody, uh, somebody. Can I have teacher? Yes, of course, Drive. yes. Driving in... in, in uh, I'm sorry, drinking and driving is a serious crime. Yeah, that's right. Drinking and driving oh. is a serious crime. Thank you, thank you. All right, very good. Another one, Eli, Larin, can you do 13? Question, what's Shopping, shopping is boring. I hate shopping mall, shopping yeah. mall. Mouse. Where is shop? Oh yeah, okay, shopping. Yeah, very good. Thank you. Fourteen. Um, Elizabeth del Carmen. Fourteen. Is it is more correct? Which one is it? Uh, number fourteen. I believe that shop. Shopping is not allowed during the exam. No, talking is not allowed during the exam. Talking. Talking, right? Everybody needs to be quiet when they are writing an exam. Mm, yeah. All right, yeah. All right. And 15, um, Carlos Emilio, 15? Flying. Flying. Flying, very good. Flying makes Flying me nervous. Makes I prefer me nervous. traveling, yeah. Okay, very good. So this is the first one. And then the second one, we say Robert has a red sport card. He enjoys what, guys? Answer for that one. Driving. He enjoys driving. All right. My friend, my number three. My friends hate. They always eat at restaurants. Cooking. Cooking. Yes, my friends cooking. hate cooking. Very nice. Number four. Mary likes TV, but she doesn't have a television. Watching. 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 Tengan cuidado con la pronunciación de ese verbo. No es washing. Si usted lava la tele, se va a electrocutar. <laughs> right. Uno es watching con T, watching. Y la otra es watching. Hacen shampoo. Okay. Watching. Hacen watching. 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 Very good. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Very good. Next one. I bought a new bicycle last week. I love cycling. cycling. I love cycling. cycling. Very nice. If you cycling. like, there's a great bookstore nearby. Reading. If you like reading, very nice, very good. Joyce with lots of different colors. Painting. Painting, very nice. Okay, Richard lives near a mountain, so he often goes skiing. 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 Yeah. Uh huh. Skiing on a mountain. Yes. Very good. Skiing. Skiing. Yeah. I dislike because I always hold out on the ice. I dislike skating. Skating, very good. I dislike skating. Number 10, last summer Jenny tried with her new surf, uh, surfboard. Surfing. Surfing, Surfing. yeah. My brother likes seafood, so he likes fishing. 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 He likes fishing, very good. 
12, I really hate dirty dishes. Washing. 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 Is washing. Very good. Sam doesn't like to kill animals, so he never goes hunting. 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 Very hunting. good. Hunting. All right. Yes. 14, I don't like because I'm not a good dancer. Dancing. 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 I'm sorry, but I can't go with you. I hurt my foot. We're running. I can go? Running. 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 I Running. hurt my foot. Very good, Running. guys. Yay, very nice. Thank you. No vieron la respuesta, ¿verdad? No. No. Pinky <laughs> promise. Mm. I Pinky feel that some promise. people cheated. <laughs> All right, very good. Do you guys have questions? as subjects and gerunds as objects or you feel okay with the topic for Mary that was not in class yesterday for Selena for Daniel Del Cid and for some other people that were not in class yesterday do you understand the topic mm -hmm. yes? yes okay yes. very good yes. remember that it's similar to the present progressive but it's not the same okay the only similarity is that it finishes with ing ing That's it. all right but it is not present progressive it's not a, it's, they are not talking about an action that is happening right now remember that gerunds they act as nouns as names of activities or something that we or an idea okay yeah you understand that Yes. All right. Yes. Okay. Very Thank good. You. Okay. Very good, guys. Okay. So I want to show you this. Hold on. Before, uh, oh no. Before we go, I said that we were going to talk about the new topic, which is 2.6 on the platform. And I just want to show you this. I don't know if you have seen it already. This is what we're talking about. We're going to talk about this today and tomorrow. Okay. Uh... So we talk about comparison structures. We are going to compare okay. adjectives as well as nouns, okay? So if I say, for example, uh, we're comparing, so in this case, we have two things or two people or two activities. I can say swimming, all right, using the gerund, swimming is um, better than running, for example, all right? So I'm using, in that case, I'm using two gerunds, but that's okay. I'm comparing two things. Or I can say, she is, I don't know, more beautiful than, I don't know, her friend. Okay, so we're comparing two things, two people, two situations. Yes, okay, so we can compare. So this is the way we do it because we're comparing. We have more than, or we can say less than, better than, worse than, as, as, and not as, as. These are the things that we're going to be like using and learning how to do. Okay? Okay. okay. You understand so far? Yes. Yeah? Uh, All right. Yes. Okay. Thank okay. you. Okay. Yes. Okay. But, so here we but, yes. Uh, there is an, another word like pre previous. Yeah, but that's when a superlative, you... Mary. Ah, uh, okay, okay. And that's when you, that's the top. For example, you say, uh, I don't know. Taller, she is, she's shorter. the tallest. Okay. Oh, that's when you no, say no, tallest, no. the EST, Mary. Okay, uh, when you say the okay. ER, for example, you say uh -huh. she, I mean, it is bigger than, your shorter. house is bigger than my house. Okay. Shorter than you. That's the comparison, the normal comparison. In this case, we're using yeah. more than, less than, better than, worse mm -hmm. as, as, and not as, as. All right? But always, but always comparing, we're not using the superlative. The superlative is when we, we okay. say biggest, prettiest, the most intelligent, all right, or the most handsome. Those are superlatives, but right now uh -huh. we are in comparison structures, okay? But you mm -hmm. can, you can say like, she is pretty or pretty than another no if you if the if the adjective that you're using allows you Pretty. to use i e r then you have <clears> to <throat> use it that way yeah so, so you cannot say she's more prettier than you you can say that uh -huh. you say she's prettier than you 
If you say oh, you're okay. more, she's more prettier, that's in Spanish. Okay. Not in English. All right. All right. Okay. Hey, that's, that's a nice arrow. Who's doing that? <laughs> Carlos Emilio, what are you doing? Está manchando mi pizarra, Carlos. No, okay, that's okay. He puso un corazoncito. Okay, nice. All right, very good. Okay. So I'm going, I just wanted to show you this because this is what we're going to be working with today and tomorrow. Okay. So just keep in mind. Okay. So now I have this for you. Just give me a second. Here. Okay. So here we have, this is... Yeah, this is the uh, comparisons, adjective plus ER, than, or more plus adjective plus than. This is like going back only the, with the normal comparison adjectives, okay? So we have an adjective review, and this is for you to remember. I know you know this, okay? But, I mean, it's just for me to make sure that you understand it, okay? So we have adjective plus ER plus than. Clean, cleaner. Si su adjetivo puede cambiar de clean a cleaner, lo voy a poner more cleaner. Please. Okay. De repente es así okay. como que funny, okay. pero pasa. ¿Verdad? Okay. Es bien común con, con, el, con el adjetivo easy. Usted dice more easy. Eso es en español. All right. Más easier. fácil. Easier. 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 All right. E-R. Right. E ER, easier, all right? No vayan a andar diciendo, this is more easy, teacher. Le va a dar algo. Le va a dar algo. All right? So clean, cleaner than, old, older than. All right? So remember that we were talking about one syllable adjectives, okay? Then we have two syllable adjectives. That we have a consonant plus vowel plus consonant. Then you have to double the last consonant. Big, bigger. All right, because we have consonant, vowel, consonant on big, then you have to, when you make it a comparison, you double the last consonant. So big, bigger, hot, hotter. Okay? Oh, yeah. than, bigger than, all right? Aplica el than igual, okay? okay. Then, then we have uh, one syllable adjectives when they finish in E, like safe. Ya no le voy a poner más nada, solo agreguele la R, safer, larger. All right. Oh. Mm -hmm. Esos son es so uh -huh. Igual, eh, usted dice, I don't know. This road is larger than the other road. No va a decir more larger. All right, that's not possible. Well, larger English. than. Yeah. All right. Two or more syllable adjectives. Yes, so see. But we're talking about two or more syllable adjectives. And then we have to use more plus the adjective plus than. Expensive. We have three syllables. Interesting. We have three syllables. So oye muy feo si yo digo, this dress is expensive. Ya, ya no lo puedo hacer más largo. Ya es largo. All right? So I say more expensive. Or uh, this class is interesting. There. No, it's, <laughs> it's more interesting, all right? So you have to make it with the word more, and that's the comparison of that adjective. Handsome, more handsome. Say handsomer. You don't say beauty, okay. beautifuler. No, you say more beautiful, all right? Yeah. More difficult. Difficult. You have three syllables, so you need to know what the syllables are in English, okay? Do you have questions so far, guys? No, no questions? No. 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 Remember that this is a review, all right? A review yes. of just the simple adjectives para meternos después en el tema que corresponde. More than, less than, as, as, not as, as, all right? Okay. Mm -hmm. When okay. we have adjectives ending in Y, we need to replace the Y and then we add I, E, R. Busy, busier than. Pretty, prettier than. Okay, this is a spelling, guys. All right, just can you give me a second, please? Please, please, please. Okay, uh, hold on, guys, just give me one quick second. Okay. 
All right, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, um, so let's continue here. Um, where were we? We were here, no, here. Okay, so here we have, this is pretty much a spelling, just to remind you what the, the spelling has to look like on the adjectives, okay? Here we have irregular adjectives, um, right? You cannot say good, gooder, you cannot say bad, badder far, far, uh, fodder, all right? So it's good, it's better, yeah. all right? Bad, worse. That's the comparative form of these adjectives. So she is better than him, all right? Or he is worse than him. okay? Or my house is further than yours because I live in San Miguel and you live in, I don't know, Usultan or something, all right? Yes? So these are like the irregular adjectives. Now I say this is gooder than, than the other class, all right? This is better, all right? Or bother, no, worse, okay? What is far? Far is lejos. Uh, uh -huh. Okay. Más lejos. Más lejos, ajá. Uh -huh. No voy a andar diciendo more further tampoco. <laughs> okay, get it? Okay. Yes. So here we have, here we have this, guys. This is what is on the platform, more than, less than, as, as, not as, us. okay? Here we have. Okay, uh, don't worry about this because we're going to go over tomorrow again, okay? Because we don't, uh, we, we don't have time to finish everything today. So we're going to cover this again tomorrow. But I just want to show you this. Tomorrow we're going to use the same presentation, okay? So we say making comparisons okay. with adjectives, number one. Elizabeth, um, Eli Larin, can you read number one? Okay. Things, 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 things that are similar in some ways. Okay. As, just, mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead. As plus adjective plus as. Okay, as plus adjective plus as, all right? So you say uh, they are similar in some ways, okay? So maybe in this case, we're not saying that one is better than the other one. We're saying they are the same, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, number two, Daniel Del Cid, can you read number two? Okay, two, uh, things that are different in some ways, mm -hmm. not as plus adjective, Plus us. All right, very different good. Form, so form. <laughs> different form, all right. So you say, for example, um, San Miguel is not as hot as La Unión. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And number okay. three, Rocio, can you read it? Number three, uh, to compare two things mm -hmm. using ER form. Of an adjective plus than. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're we're here. What we're learning here, guys, is three ways to compare. All right. We know number three because it's easier. She's prettier than her. This is more difficult than Japanese. Um, the car is more expensive than a motorcycle. That's the normal way to compare things. But we also have number one way and number two way, all right? When we say comparing, but in a way we're saying they are the same or we're comparing, but in a way we're saying that they are not the same. And that's what we're, we are going to be doing uh, tomorrow's class. And we're going to compare adjectives and we're going to be using also nouns, okay? Again, this is on the platform, guys, okay? So I please, I want you to work on the okay. platform. Please check the... Um, the video of the teacher talking to you about this topic. So tomorrow, you know what I'm talking about and we can work on this better, all right? All right. Yeah, okay, okay. guys, we're gonna stop right here right now. So make sure that tomorrow you, you um, work on your platform. No sé por qué unidad van ya, van, van casi que el, al mismo tiempo. O va alguien no. como muy atrasado. Hmm. ¿Cómo van? Quiero ver cómo Yo van. Yo voy atrasada. Eli, ¿qué voy a pasó? Ajá, Walter. Ay, teacher, mucho trabajo. Yo no sé Yo para sé. qué suspenden las clases. <risa> Totalmente.
Totalmente. Anyway, yes. All right. Eh, Walter, ¿por qué número va? And the, at the middle of the first one. Excellent. Okay. Ahí vamos, ahí vamos. Rocío, what, where are you on the platform? At, at the end of the one, the number. Ah, oh, okay, all right. Gerardo, how are you doing on the platform? Ana, what about you? Carlos, what about you? In my case, I have a problem to, 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 in, to increase the, to the other. In the with the login, but but yesterday you were able to do it. Solution, yes. Okay, all right, and very good. Okay. The beginning, the then the platform. Yes, I understand. Okay, Anna, what about you? Um, I one point ten. Okay, all right, very good. So finishing it up, very good. Uh, Carlos. Iniciando, teacher, iniciando. Ah, what happened, Carlitos? Jose Rodriguez, yeah. what about you? Uh, teacher, I am uh, starting the second. Such hey, very good, Jose. Ahorita es my favorite student. <laughs> Elizabeth del Carmen, what about you? Daniel del Cid, what about you? Ramos, what about you? Mary, what about you? Selena? Hi. Uh -huh, Mary, Didn't... what about I'm starting today. Oh, Mary, what happened? Okay, that's okay. <laughs> Ramos, what about you and Daniel del Cid? No, no reporte. All right, vamos a hacer una cosa, solo para que sientan presión aquí. All right, okay. para el viernes, para el viernes, jueves tenemos la última clase de esta semana. Para el viernes, en la noche, necesito que me mande cap de su progreso. Y okay. yo necesito ver que te, todos y todas hayan terminado la 1 obligatorio y que la 2 casi que también obligatorio. All right. Así que okay. para el viernes. <risa> Ajá, el hilarín, si no. No, I'm kidding. All right. <risa> no, pero sí, de verdad me mandan captura para ver cómo van. El único que podría tener un poquito de chance es Gerardo porque casi que está empezando de todo, ¿verdad? Porque no tenía acceso. Pero los demás ya son viejos en esto. <laughs> ya no tienen excusa. All right, guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Lávese bien las manitas. Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Cuídense mucho. Okay. Good night. Yeah, good night. Totalmente. Good night. Bye, pues. Okay, bye. Bye, bye.